Hi, I'm Cory Baumeister, and welcome to our How to Play Magic the Gathering series. Magic is a trading card game filled with fantastic characters, worlds, and creatures that allow you to create unique decks to battle other players with. In this first video, we'll go over the very basics of magic. Other videos in this series will go in depth on different parts of the game, but for now, let's start with the fundamentals. To start playing, all you really need is a place to play, someone to play against, and a deck. Each player starts the game with 20 life. The goal is to reduce your opponent's life total to zero before they do the same to you. Before starting, determine who goes first in your game. Before every game, make sure to shuffle your deck. Once you put your deck within easy reach, it's now known as the library. Draw an opening hand of seven cards from the top of your library. If you're the first player, you won't draw an extra card on your first turn. But after that, each player draws a card at the start of their turn. There are two basic types of cards in the game, lands and spells. The first thing you'll want to play is a land card. You can play one land per turn. Turning your land sideways or tapping them produces mana and indicates that the card has been used for the turn. Mana is the resource that allows you to pay for your spells. Spells have a cost printed in the upper right-hand corner of the card. Let's look at the card Sanctuary Cat. It has one white sun symbol, so it requires one white mana to cast. You can use a planes to generate that white mana. Then put your Sanctuary Cat into play. Now let's look at Walking Corpse, which has a slightly different cost. This card has one black skull symbol and the number one in a gray circle. This means that the card costs one black mana plus one mana of any color to cast. You can use a swamp to pay the one black mana and any land, like a forest, to generate that other mana. Both Sanctuary Cat and Walking Corpse are creatures. These are the primary way to attack your opponent and reduce their life total to zero. In the bottom right hand corner of creature cards, you'll see a box with two numbers. The first number represents the creature's power or how much damage they do. The second number represents its toughness, how much damage they can take in a turn before being destroyed. You can attack with your creatures once per turn during the combat phase. Creatures can only attack if they've been on the battlefield since the start of your turn. You tap creatures to attack just like how you would tap lands to make mana. You can attack a player with any number of creatures you control. Your opponent then has the chance to block those attacking creatures with their own creatures. If they don't block, the opponent takes damage and reduces their life total. Tapped creatures can't block. So if you attack with a creature on your turn, it won't be able to block on your opponent's turn. We'll dive into how combat works in a later video. Of course, there is more to magic than just lands and creatures. You can also cast powerful one-time spells called instants and sorceries to flex your magical prowess. Enchantment and artifact cards stay on your battlefield to help your goals. You can even summon the assistance of a famous planeswalker from the multiverse. We'll go over all the different types of cards in magic in a future video, but all you need to know about them now is that they help you accomplish your goal of depleting your opponent's life total while preserving your own. Players alternate taking turns, playing lands and spells, and attacking with their creatures until one player falls to zero life. There are many phases and steps of a turn, but we'll get into that in a later video. We'll also have videos clearly showing you how and when spells can be played, what common abilities and effects do, as well as a complete game tutorial. This is just the start of your journey and Star City Games' How to Play Magic the Gathering series. You can dive in with any combination of videos you want to watch. We recommend you watch our card types video next, followed by our steps of a turn video. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to teaching you more in our other How to Play Magic the Gathering series videos from Star City Games.